Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am a spiritual coach, empowerment guide, mentor, spiritual business coach, and friend. <laughs> Today we are going to be talking about the 1111 portal, which is a absolutely profound and life-changing and life-altering portal that's going to be opening up very shortly on November 1st. So before we get started into this portal and what you need to know about it, I wanted to discuss a little bit about what a portal actually is. So a portal is not something that we see in movies where a doorway opens and we walk through it and we're in a different dimension. A portal is essentially an energetic gateway that opens us up to higher frequency opportunities. Each portal that occurs each year and each month is typically represented by different aspects of numerology. So we will see that in January, we experience the 111 portal. In February, the 222 portal. In April, the 444 portal. These portals always have to do with typically the month and the day, but then sometimes we also have the year involved. Um, each number that this portal represents holds the significance or the main theme about each portal. And what a portal really is, is an opportunity for us to utilize the energies that it provides for us so that we can amplify and grow in a much more rapid speed. It offers us universal support for achieving the goals and for really raising our frequency and ascending in body right now on earth. And so what is the 1111 portal? The 1111 portal is a portal that opens up on November 1st, closing on November 11th. And this portal is primarily focused on ascension, manifestation, spiritual awakening, and oneness, of course, with all of the ones there. This is also an interesting portal because it is 1111 and the year is four, indicating the fact that there is four ones and then the last digits of this day with 2020 equals four. So this is simultaneously an 1111 and a 44 portal. The number four is really representing the next level of ascension for me and within my spiritual studies of numerology, two and four are very, very, very powerful stepping stones for ascension. So this portal is an amplified portal for ascension. And for those who don't know what ascension is, ascension can just simply be seen as evolution or growth or raising your frequency. It's not something where, you know, we raise our frequency and leave earth. It's something that we're learning now that we can be ascended while being on earth, completing our missions because our missions are on earth, not in the stars right now. So what do you need to know about this portal? What information can I provide for you? Well, first of all, I did wanna speak upon the incredible 1111 portal course that I've been spending some incredible, incredible moments cultivating for you. This 1111 portal course is cultivated with 11 lessons and 11 worksheets to really help you understand this portal in a deeper level, as well as be able to implement the overall themes in order to bring about greater ascension within your life. And so the link for that is going to be in the description box below. And for the rest of this video, I'm going to be telling you some general things that you need to know about this portal. So first of all, I wanted to speak about oneness because when we have a portal that is represented and identified and described with only number ones, there's a lot to do with the oneness frequency. And the oneness frequency is the frequency of being one with source, whether source you believe to be the universe or God or source or an angel. What this is really speaking upon is how we are one with that omnipresent source, how we are not separate from source. We are simply extensions from source. Oneness is really the goal, the overall overarching mission to all of our missions on earth and, and to why we are here, to why this world has even been created. The whole purpose was for us to return back to a state of oneness, which is our most natural state. When we are experiencing oneness, we do not see any separation. This means we do not experience any feelings of fear, hate, violence, None of these emotions and experiences can exist in a state of oneness because those experiences and those feelings uh, initiate the idea and the concept that separation exists. For example, if we are angry at somebody, that is 
valid, completely valid, especially on your journey back to oneness. However, it is showing that there is a level of separation involved because to be angry at somebody is to feel separate at them, to feel victimized by something that they have done, to feel like you are subject to an external circumstance, whereas you are really the person who is, you know, doing that to yourself. When we're thinking about oneness, there's a really cool red leaf that fell there. When we're thinking about oneness, the overall, I guess, goal and, and message through this portal is that there are going to be different opportunities that come up and arise that allow you to really cultivate a, a practice of oneness. And a practice of oneness is something that I teach about in the course because when we're considering, you know, moving from a place of absolute separation to oneness, it is a process. It's not necessarily something, you know, we can wake up tomorrow and feel complete oneness with everything. It's, it's something that with our prior conditioning and in our limiting beliefs and our experiences is something that is, is truly a practice. And so the goal of that is eventually you'll be able to, you know, view this video and you'll know that I'm not separate from you. I am simply an extension of the same source that you came from. The other goal of ascension is you are the other goal of oneness is that you will be able to look at the plants, the animals around you and you will see oneness. You will not see separation. You will not see that you're a human and that is a dog. You will see that you are both extensions of the same source, which is so beautiful. And so this portal is ushering in different almost triggers for us to begin to really initiate this, this, this practice and in this feeling. Uh, not only this, but you may experience a lot more feelings and sensations of oneness. The second topic that I wanted to discuss in relation to the 1111 portal is that this is a time where often our ego um, may, you know, hype up a bit and feel really threatened. And, and that's simply because this is a oneness portal. Uh, within oneness, the ego is dismantled and does not exist because the ego's primary function is to keep us separate from our soul and to keep us separate from our source. One thing I wanted to mention with the ego is that the ego is not our enemy. We are not trying to hate or, or fear the ego. We are simply trying to dismantle it with love and compassion and help it return back to its source because deep down that's what it wants to. So you may notice around or through this portal, you experience a lot of ego deaths. An ego death is when things that you used to know or identify with as being you or yourself no longer exist. So this could come in the form of losing friends, losing a relationship, um, losing items, uh, being relocated to a new home, having a sense that you're not really your job, you might lose your job. Everything and anything that you may have identified as, you know, part of your identity is likely to begin to fall out of your life at this time. Not only this, but this whole idea of the ego death is supported by the fact that we are in Scorpio season. So we have the 1111 portal plus Scorpio season, which really talks all about death and rebirth. So there's two energies here that are really supporting us dismantling the ego in a compassionate way. And so you might notice, you know, a lot of ego death, a lot of things falling apart, a lot of the things that, you know, really cultivated your idea of self, there's a feather flying up in the air in front of me, that's so beautiful. A lot of things that you cultivated as your idea of self might begin to go away. And why is this happening? What's the purpose of this? The purpose of this is for you to be able to come back and recognize I'm not those things, you know, I am not my relationship, I am not my job. I am not my title, I'm not my religion, I'm not even my name. You are the eternal source behind those things. You are the one that is experiencing having said job, the one experiencing being part of a religion, the one experiencing a relationship, the one experiencing having this particular name. So you will notice that a lot of things are gonna come up to trigger your ego, so it's moving beyond that ego resistance and allowing things to fall apart so that they can fall back together. The next thing that I wanted to mention about the 1111 portal is that it is going to really trigger a lot of spiritual awakenings in, in many people, even those who we may not think would ever have a form of spiritual awakening. The energies that come through through this portal um, almost trigger 
um, a lot of growth, a lot of deep, um, deep desire. Like it almost triggers your desire to learn more and to go beyond your current uh, limitations in your current structure or identity of, of the reality that you exist within. And so you may notice you reach a deeper level of your spiritual awakening. Maybe you are more drawn to reading more books, spending more time meditating. You might find a specific YouTube channel that has really good meditations and suddenly, you know, you're meditating all the time and this is helping you reach a deeper level of awareness. So you're going to notice through this time and surrender to it when it comes up that that, that you're going to be continuing to to wake up, um, to, to be more aware. And you know, sometimes this comes in form of ego death. Sometimes our spiritual awakenings come from feeling like we lost something. It comes from feeling um, despair and suffering. And sometimes this wakes us up to a new level. For me, I had, um, I guess, the largest trigger to my spiritual awakening to 1111 portals ago, right on 1111. And so, I always see this portal as a 1111. <laughs> I always see this portal as an absolutely profound energetic time period of spiritual awakening. It is a time where, you know, we're really going into the depths of fall, we're almost entering winter, and so it's really a time where we're beginning to look inwards if you live somewhere where it's cold by, you know, November 1st, it gets really cold. Um it's it's going to start to snow, especially if you're up in Canada like me you'll notice that, you know, things change. You'll notice that you're going to want to go more inwards, um, really understand yourself. Um, the fourth thing I wanted to mention is that a lot of inner unions are going to be happening around this time, um, this time as well as this, and especially through the 1212 portal, that portal is going to have a course and a video as well that I'll be putting out for it. Love how I'm saying that as it hits 12 minutes. Um, but you're going to notice that you begin to come into more of an inner union. And what an inner union is, is a balance between your masculine energies, your feminine energies, and your inner child. An inner union allows you to be fully balanced and healed. Obviously, we're still working on the healing, but um, it allows you to be at a state where your masculine and your feminine can interact and love each other and your inner child is, is really nurtured and you're, you're just so balanced. You have balanced your energies and with that inner union, you have inner love, inner security, inner safety. You no longer need things outside of yourself to fulfill or satisfy you. You no longer seek the outside world to bring you happiness and fulfillment. Uh, that all is inside and you've already you know, cultivated this union within, as well as you'll, you know, within inner union, you no longer um, seek or require um, an external partner. I noticed after my inner union, I actually don't have a deep desire to have an external partner anymore. If I went my whole life without having an external partner, I don't think that it would like deeply impact me the way that it would have before I had my inner union. It was always like, there's somebody outside of myself that needs to fulfill these these things within me. Um, and after your inner union, you no longer feel that way. You're fulfilled and satisfied, you know, within yourself. And, and it's so beautiful. The last thing I wanted to talk about with the 1111 portal is that there's going to be so many light codes streaming in from the sun. If you're anything like me, I have been studying the sun since February of this year to track the solar flares and the solar rays that have been coming. We, in the spiritual community, for so long, were discussing a solar flash happening. It was going to be one grand big event in December. What it ended up being for, you know, for humanity, or because if it was a one big event, it would have caused too much destruction and happened too fast. The sun has essentially ascended into the sixth dimension and been sending solar flares and solar flashes every single day. The sun has transmuted into absolutely sending only rainbow codes right now. It started with gold, it started with white, it started with a little bit of color. Now if you take a photo of yourself with the sun, it is just codes and codes of rainbows streaming through. The amount of different things and orbs and beings you can now see when you're taking a photo of yourself with the sun in a specific angle is about... I'd say 100 times the amount that it was since February, and that is gonna continue through the 1111 Ascension Portal because Ascension Codes, Ascension Rainbow Codes are gonna be streaming in from the sun into your body, into the bodies of people who don't even know what Rainbow Ascension Codes are to really help us activate our rainbow light bodies. So you may also notice during this portal, you need 
more rest, <laughs> more time to integrate. You might feel like you're a little bit more tired. Um, you might be triggered. Things might be coming up to be released and that's simply because there is a higher light quotient that is, you know, coming into the planet. And so on a global scale, what this portal really looks like is a lot of things that were hidden in the dark are going to be coming into the light. Um, anything that's not of oneness uh, or unity consciousness is going to begin to, to be seen on a mass level um, starting November 1st and onwards uh, because the light frequency that is going to be coming into this planet during this time is something that um, no level of darkness can essentially, you know, block away. So I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this video and that there was a lot of information there for you. If you would like a lot more information as well as worksheets to, you know, work through this incredible portal energy and really you know, take in the universal opportunity and the universal support that you're being provided right now via this portal, please click the link in the description box below. It should send you to my website where you'll have more information about specific modules, lesson titles, and more information about the course. I look so, so, so forward to guiding you through this 1111 portal course, and I'll see you in the next video for the 1212 portal. Peace.